Hello and welcome to this 2023 GLIAC Football Media Day wrap up. I'm the voice of the Bulldogs, Rob Bentley, alongside Sandy Golston. Ferris State met the media here today in Grand Rapids, along with the other six competing football institutions in the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. The Bulldogs represented by head coach Tony Anise, along with seniors Ian Hall and Xavier Wade here today at Media Day. And Sandy, a tremendous event put on by the GLIAC and obviously a lot of excitement here uh, for the 2023 season. Well, it's always exciting. Anytime you get a chance to get everybody together for Media Day and the coach just get a chance to get together and everybody's undefeated everybody's excited everybody's optimistic about their team and about their chances and, and it gets an opportunity for us to have two of our great West Michigan players be able to come here uh, X and Ian are two guys that have been a huge parts of this program uh, X I know he's going to be excited to really get back out here and so he had a lot of energy coach and had a lot of energy a lot of energy just all the way around the room here as we're just one step closer now to getting this season going Two-time defending national champion Bulldogs picked to finish first in the GLIAC preseason pool, but right behind Ferro State, Grand Valley State, and Davenport, two other teams that made the playoffs a year ago. Uh, needless to say, a, a tough slate ahead here for the Bulldogs in the GLIAC. Uh, you mentioned two other teams that made the playoffs last year and two other teams that feel they're going to be really good this year too. And so uh, you got three elite national teams right there at the top of the GLIAC right there. And don't forget about Saginaw Valley. Saginaw Valley is right there as well. And again, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but everybody's feeling optimistic right now. And so it's going to be a tough slate for everybody. Whoever emerges from the GLIAC is certainly going to earn it. And whoever emerges from the GLIAC is going to have an opportunity to really be able to compete for a championship. And as we saw last year, uh, where the Bulldogs narrowly lost the GLIAC championship, they came back, won a national championship. So that shows you the depth and quality of the GLIAC. Bulldogs have lost a lot of guys over the past two seasons, 2021, 2022, but a lot of young guys that uh, did see the field last year for the Bulldogs uh, leads to a great nucleus, 60-plus uh, returning letter winners here for the Bulldogs this fall. Well, I think the coaching staff's done a great job of really developing the depth that really makes quality programs. And when you see great talent leave and you're thinking, man, how are you going to replace those guys? Well, that great talent, they laid the foundation for the next generation to come up. And then they lay the foundation for the next generation to come up. And that's what Ferris has been really fortunate to have. And so Bulldogs have a lot of returners that are coming back and a lot of guys whose names aren't quite as familiar to you right now, but in time, maybe short time, they're going to become more familiar to you because that's the quality of this program. They continue to add pieces to the puzzle. And so you don't see that gap in terms of production and in terms of success. Ferris has been able to remain consistent because of the depth, because of the talent, because of the coaching and because of the high character players that we've been able to bring in. Finally here, the Bulldogs open up preseason camp one week from today, August 7th, the first practice at Top Taggart Field in Big Rapids, the season opener, August 31st against the Mercyhurst Lakers. A lot of work to be done for the Bulldogs, but uh, a lot of excitement brewing uh, here for 2023. Well, you know, Ian Hall talked about it. One of the great feelings is uh, the pads cracking and guys getting out there and getting some hits. Well, the, the pads don't start cracking right away, but it's going to be a lot of fun to really get back out there for those first practices and, and to really get going there and start to get the conditioning going, get the blood flowing, become re acclimated to uh, the plays and, and the way things work. And I thought it's going to be really exciting for those guys to begin checking in and, and getting themselves settled in and to get back to being a family again. And it all starts here in preseason camp. And so uh, we're one week away from that getting going, from that really getting going. And I just personally could not be more excited. I know Bulldog Nation and a lot of nations around the college football world, they're excited to get going. We'll have all the coverage for you at preseason camp and the entire 2023 season online at ferrostatebulldogs.com. Follow us on social media as well as the Bulldogs uh, kick off the 2023 season.